Hello, it's Father Mark Russler. I'm just standing in front of the Resurrection Cross here in our parish church and thinking, ah, only about one more week to go here. And then we hit the Feast of Pentecost and the Easter season is over with, as well as our message series on, on witnessing. Speaking about witnessing, uh, the Archbishop witnessed to us the other day in a surprising way and in saying that we can come back and have public masses in our parish churches at the end of, of May here, the last um, weekend in May. And so it's uh, amazing to me because uh, I thought he was gonna wait for a while. In fact, he's the only bishop in Iowa to, to do that right now. The others will probably follow, but perhaps later on. So anyway, we've been preparing here as a staff for about a month about what this might look like. And uh, we're not gonna make that first Sunday, Pentecost Sunday and opening up. We're gonna wait another week. So we're gonna do it probably around June 7th will be our first mass. It'll be on a Sunday, it'll be one mass. And the way we're gonna start out is that we have all of these communicants, first communicants um, who've been fighting at the bit, so to speak, to make their first communion. And so we're gonna start out with them and we're going to do four of those. The first, um, first communion mass will be on the seventh and we'll fill you in when the other ones will be as well. And so we're gonna start out because the staff um, and myself are concerned that um, we want to, to do it well. Uh, we want to make sure that um, everybody that comes here will not only have a good experience, a uh, faith experience, but also be safe at the same time. And, and so it's going, to be, it's going to be a different experience. The Archbishop has, has made the point, and I want to make it as well, that um, if you're 65 or old, old, older, or you have some kind of health issue, probably um, coming to Mass right away is not the thing to do. If I, I'm 70 years old, if I wasn't the pastor of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish, I wouldn't be here on June 7th, okay? Uh, it's just too, too risky. The uh, more people you get together, uh, the more chance there is of picking up the virus. That's just the way the game's played. And I mentioned in my, my last um, video that um, it's gonna look different here in church too, so that uh, we're only gonna be able to fit in because of the um, social uh, distancing we have to do, fit in about 249 people. And so it's gonna be a different experience that way as well. So we're trying to make it as safe as possible in doing the distancing thing. And then also we have to do the disinfection thing at the same time, um, getting the church sanitized in some way or other and, and keeping it that way. And then we're going to go to um, a reservation system, kind of control who, who shows up here. And so we're gonna need, in other words, we're gonna need a lot of people um, to help us to, to, to do all of this. The more people we can get involved in, um, the more masses that we can open up and offer to people. So right now we're just gonna do one mass at a time and see how it works until we get it figured out. And we have to see where, where we get to get the people from the parish, the ministers that we need to do all of this. Um, it's gonna be a whole different experience when we come. And actually what we're looking for are ministers that are under 65 as well, okay? That's the other part of the coin is that we want to pr protect people um, as much as we can. And so those under 65 are who we're looking for. And again, we're gonna need a lot of you. And eventually we're going to open up the, the building as well. Um, the office is open right now and it will be open um, in the future. Uh, we're not getting a lot of business here, but uh, we're open. Uh, but how are we gonna open it up to um, larger events than just the faculty or the faculty, the staff I'm showing up here? We have to have to work on that. The Archbishop did say that there cannot be any kind of um, large gatherings in the parish. And then he gave some examples like funeral dinners or wedding receptions, those kinds of things. Um, as you probably know, if you have any young children, we're doing um, vacation Bible school in a, in a virtual way, not bringing them here on campus. And religious ed for the summer, uh, looks like it could probably go that way as well. So we don't know quite what, um, what all that looks like, especially with social distancing and doing the the sanitation that we have to do. Those are the real big, big issues then and how to deal with that. And so it's going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to take a slow approach here at St. E's. Um, you might hear other parishes in town um, doing things different than we do. And well, we're Catholic and we, every parish is different than the next one. And so uh, we're going to do it um, a slow, deliberate way, hopefully a health, healthy way. And that when you come here, you'll have a good religious experience. So good. And uh, away we go. It's going to be a different experience for all of us.